All right, here we are, about to start our Ren to Ren to Ren adventure. All right, starting the watch. Guys, are you ready? Not really in a hurry. 42 miles. get too much better than coming down this trail at sunrise we're uh we're going slowly but yeah this is okay. i think when we get to the bottom I think we can if we have things. tons of energy we're gonna I mean, we're, we're gonna have plenty of places to spend our energy yeah yeah i Come think for your brain off just a little bit not just think about all the of stuff. like this is so uh, yeah, it's like we're running, but if you fail to like enjoy this, yeah. you miss the whole point, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. But this is like that's what I was saying about this trail. It's just, it's just stunningly beautiful in the morning. My goodness. <laughs> you got a quick advertisement for Morton? This is precision fuel. Oh, precision. Looks like applesauce, but 
It tastes like nothing. Just, just the four of us. Runners home. Take out ransom mules. We just descended what four? Uh, four. Just descended like four thousand feet. I almost want to go faster just for that. Yeah. Of course, it's a great thing. the variety of fuel options, the uh, expensive options, we got the, power wrap. We got the, the homemade option, the homemade option, and then we have the secret, the secret sauce, the homemade, like, well, I don't know what to call this, <laughs> homebrew, <laughs> homebrew, actually I did have a name for it, all right, and uh, by the way, we're at Phantom Ranch, Ooh, beautiful place. About 8, 10 a.m. Yeah, so I got two, two hours and two minutes from the trailhead to here. So we're in the box. This is one of the most beautiful parts of the run and we're lucky as you were just saying it's still cool in the morning still still nice temperature this actually feels this actually feels really relaxing doesn't it it does feel good to run again all right so we just passed the sign said 13.4 miles to the other side so uh if we make it and four hours that'll put us at six hours which is half of our goal time all right we are out of the box and into this long passage between one side of the canyon to the other just bright sun and blue sky means that we're gonna get a little hot we are Walking the uphills generally, trying to keep up a maybe say easy 13, sometimes 14 minute pace in between. And definitely enjoying this. How are you guys feeling?
Where's the water station? Is that right at the base of North? Yeah. Cottonwood campground. We are still doing okay. And gonna keep going a little further. We get to Man Manzanita where we can fill up our water, fill up our stomachs, and get ready for the the hard push up to the North Rim. All right. Are we 6.5 from the top now? Are we 6.5? Yeah, I think that's, that's not bad. Which will take us two days. All right, we have two days to get to the top. Right. One and a half from Mountain. <laughs> two days. We better get started then. Canyon walls all around us. And it's actually not too hot. Yeah, we're probably, I'm sure we're in the 70s, you think? Maybe low 70s? Yeah, maybe. All right, here is the bridge just below Manzanita. Manzanita is one of the places where you usually, usually can depend on having water. You should always check out whether it's which water stations are open before you go. So uh, when you get to this bridge, you are uh, basically across the easier part of the canyon floor and now it's time to start the five or five and a half mile probably more like yeah five no five and a quarter mile grind from Manzanita up to the north rim this is always a welcome place great place Got tables, got water, got a restroom, and one last nice chance to kind of try to get everything together. Because you're likely gonna be suffering by the time you get to the top, no matter what. I'll be filling up my water. Good job, guys. Nice stuff. Looking strong. Manzanita. Right, Here we are. Oh, man. Good job, guys. Nice stuff. All right. We are in the kind of in the grind yeah it just gets it's harder and harder as you make your way up the north side of the rim and these are beautiful spots to get on video because just kind of this, on this trail that's literally carved out of the rock cliffs. I don't know who or how they did it, but kind of amazing. Dan has walked ahead a bit. He's a you know, strong uphill climber. According to my watch, I have about uh, two miles to go uh, to get to the north side and this is a uh, steep it's grind um, just thinking that it's really important that when, when you're coming across 
And everybody needs to know their own abilities. You gotta, you gotta make sure you're saving plenty of energy to get up this climb. Beautiful. And Dan is a bit ahead of me. He's, he's a monster going up this trail. Coming through the tunnel near the top of uh, the North Cape Kaiban. And these cliffs up ahead just look like like a striped a striped pair of pants. And I think, I'm hope. I can't remember actually how far this tunnel is from the top. I should know that. So last toilet. Don't need to go there. And there's water here, but it's turned off. All right. Uh, all right, so I think, and I'll be sad if I'm wrong, but I, from the tunnel that I have like half a mile to go. Um, shoot. If it is, that's great. If not, no problem. All right. So this, from that tunnel to the top, is just some, it's a grind. And uh, I've been here before in a really bad state. And uh, I don't know, today, I mean, I feel like I've, I feel like I've run and hiked over 20 miles, so I'm tired, but, but uh, actually not in a bad state. Just, I'm all right. Uh, hopefully that's a good sign. All right. This last 0 0.6, 0 0.7 miles from the tunnel is just unfailingly the worst. I hate to have a bad attitude, but it, uh, every single time it feels like literally the longest half mile. It's like psychological warfare. Ah, I see dead people. No, maybe, I don't know. Oh, that's windy. Ah, I'm so tired. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that it's downhill now. It's not good. It's going to get better. Well, tell me I'll estimate it, and then you're going to have to go back up. <laughs> How long does it usually take you when you've done it? I mean, it varies. Oh, okay. Long, though. Like, 16 hours. Oh, shit. What time did you start? You started at, like, 6, right? Oh, okay. Oh, we're sick. What's up, guys? How's it going? What's the word? Hey! How was it? It's, uh... Uh, the right amount. Yeah. You know, you yeah. don't want to know like what it feels like to go up the last. Yeah. Yeah. I can imagine. But once it's coming down, it's a lot better. Yeah. 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 Or did you die? Did you die? <laughs> Not yet. A little trail fellowship. It's called Coconino Overlook. And. Oh my goodness. This is, I see a water bottle down there. I don't see any bodies. Absolutely stunning. All right, so going down is a 
already feeling a whole lot better than going up. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to have a blast going back, right? Yeah, always. Be safe, you guys. You too. Enjoy. All right, we're on our way down north to Kaibab. Kaibab. Feeling, you know, a little better, but there's a long way to go. This is a beautiful spot. Feel the cool, some of the cool, it feels like it's raining on me right here, which is awesome. You can feel it getting warmer as we go into the canyon. Um, trying to pick up the pace and catch up with Dan, who is obviously feeling strong today. Hey guys. Hey, how's it going? Oh, all right. <laughs> Fair enough. Have a good one? You too. I'm going to come back here and swim. Oh, yeah. Okay. Instead of always rushing by, right? Yeah. You do. So often. The stories go that there was a family living up the canyon in the house with the helicopter pad. Oh, really? And the kids would come down here. And this was like their pool. We got eight miles back to Phantom Ranch. And if we can find our legs, we're gonna have a shot at 12 and a half hours getting out of here, right? I think so both of us feel a lot better than we did at the top of the rim, which is a lesson. Uh, you're gonna feel bad when you get to the far side. Unless you're Jim Walmsley, 
we really haven't dealt with heat that much today or cold really just wind we got a lot of wind we're making good time through the crossing Feels like we're out on a regular, regular 10 mile run. Except every time I turn uphill, I suck it up. So, just wait till we get to the other side. Back in the box. about two and a half miles or so estimate to Phantom Ranch and it's really cool as in not hot we're running it on a good day for for that we got a headwind it's also keeping us cooled off hi a good one We are in Phantom Ranch and um, we are walking. Some of our pride and ambition has been tempered through pain. <laughs> and check out the peaks above it, like it's all pink and beautiful. Except the only problem is we have to go to the top of that. Like seriously, we have to go to the top of that. I know, yeah, like that. Okay, rule, rule number six in the Grand Canyon. Like when you're hiking out, don't look up <laughs> because. You will lose all hope. <laughs> all right, this is actually beautiful. So everything is beautiful because both of us just had a cup of cold brew coffee and our senses have clarified and our hope has briefly returned. And it's actually the hope that makes us walk. Because we don't want to ruin it. Yeah, but you know, a lot of running is driven by despair. <laughs> like, what are you running away from, man? <laughs> All right. It's kind of beautiful. Someday, I mean, just. It's like it's really hard actually to get a permit to camp here, right? Yeah. Like this is a, it's like winning the lottery, I think, to get. Yeah. Oh, sure. It's even hard to get hotel rooms in the park. Just to reiterate, like we have to go to the top of that. That is amazing. That's I'm not sure if we're going literally to the top of that. Maybe we're going more to the left to the top of that. We are now starting our climb. We just passed through the tunnel. I won't say what we called the tunnel, but we passed through it and we are starting officially uphill and ah, uh, and I'm already feeling it. You feel that? Yep. yep. 
the only way forward is is to the top and there's no giving up now and also pizza and root beer there's a lot of reasons there's a lot of reasons not to give up uh, climbing yeah, decently just noticing this color so beautiful I don't know if it'll come through on the camera actually but just this green we are trudging there's probably some gospel song that would apply dang that's where we just came up that set of switchbacks from way down there in the green below The green below is actually a climb up from the river level. We have about maybe three miles, three a little more than three miles to go to the top. And I think we're about to actually top out to one of the incredible like uh, views sunset officially today is actually happening in 20 minutes from now but we're not going to see it because it's uh it's kind of around the corner of the grand canyon plus it's a kind of cloudy day but uh if you want to see the if you want a clear view of the sunset you actually need to be further down We are uh, probably not going to make it before dark at this point. Way down there, one of, one of those points far away, you can see people sitting. So we'll probably hike down there to see sunset. Okay, there's the river. What a beautiful sight. We're good about. 1.6 or 7 miles to go and we're going to get there I'm grateful not to be nauseous yes Woo! Ah. all right so um, we are done I'm so happy this was one of those cases where I literally thought I had a quarter mile to go and no, I'm done. Oh, praise God. <laughs>